So maybe uh, we want to talk about what the the new Cox lineup. Right. So uh, this year, another big thing that just came to University Housing is digital cable. Um, we have been working with Cox Communications, our cable provider, to bring uh, ca to bring digital cable to all of our uh, residence halls. Um, so this year, uh, you get a uh, more extended channel lineup. It comes with the remote. And you have a digital cable box that has been mounted on your wall. Um, so I'm going to take you through it real quick, just show you quickly how to set it up. It's really easy to do. Um, you don't have to be tech savvy to do it. It doesn't take more than 10 minutes. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that we're not going to be really responsible for supporting uh, the Cox uh, cable boxes. However, if you come over here and take a look at the cable box, there is an 800 number to call. And throughout move-in, we are going to have uh, Cox technicians on campus to be able to uh, address all the issues you may have. Right. So when it comes to the cable, basically Cox will take care of that for you. We're, we're kind of you know facilitating, making sure it's the easiest way to use it, but they're going to be ultimately the ones who are going to do that troubleshooting right. about ResNet. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take you through real quick how to set it up. It's super easy. Um, you have a couple ways to set it up. Um, you, each box has an Ethernet, has, not Ethernet, an HDMI cord connected to it. Mm -hmm. Or if you have an older TV, you still have the option to connect through uh, the, the old coax. coax. Yeah, right. the coax. All right. So uh, I have an HDTV over here that I'm going to set up for y'all. Um, a big thing is that HDTV is new to University Housing this year. I know it might not be new to you. Uh, <laughs> however, um, we're really excited to be able to offer this to y'all. We've been standard definition until this year. Until this year, until this summer. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that if you want it, you have the option to go to the Cox Solutions Store and you are able to uh, purchase a DVR from Cox for a monthly fee. Um, I believe it runs about $30 a month. If you, if you love cable and you love to be able to record your shows, it might be something worth looking at. So you've got that DVR add-on. Right, and then that. you just plug it into the cable splitter right here, and mm -hmm. then you can uh, use it just like a cable box you would have at home. Okay, great. So we got a stunt TV that you brought from home, yeah. right? So basically, it's always going to look wound up like this. Uh -huh. um, hopefully it will. We've had, a lot, we've had a couple camps and stuff, so the cable might be dangling, but um, you will have an HDMI cable. You'll just take it and then plug it into the back of your TV. Yes, and uh, again, this is your stunt TV that you brought from home. Yes, Thank you I very brought much. this from home. And um, you will have a remote. Um, this will be provided by Cox Communications. If mm -hmm. you do not have one in your room, call Cox, and they will provide one for you. And there's that 1-800 number right there on the thing. Yes, yep. um, however, uh, make sure you get with the Cox technicians on campus. That will be here. Through. Oh, big thing, uh, Cox Communications will be on campus through move in to be able to address any issues you may have. Um, we don't know where they will be yet. However, that information will be available during move-in. Right. On the website, uh, we'll be sure and post where they'll be, as well as the channel lineup and some additional documentation you may find helpful right. when setting it up. But we will have representatives, as Jack said, from Cox on campus during move-in to help you if you run into a problem with this. Right. Um, so we're really excited to show this to you. Um, this is a new service that we haven't had yet. Um, this is a part of the whole Cox Go All Digital project. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a better TV service for all. A little, Why don't you um, sit down so I can get you guys together. Cox. You and the TV together. Sure. So um, this is Rib TV. It's called or, uh, the Razorback Information Board. Um, this is on channel 1930 in every room. Um, so you, you, will, you will have this channel. It's, oh, yeah, so there you go. Um, this will be available on every channel. Um, and then, That's an internal information right. channel that the university has specific to us, not in the larger community, I think. Yeah, so um, it's always great to have. Um, it just gives you news on campus. You have a little uh, news bar down at the bottom that um, it will show your weather and other pertinent information. Um, you'll get information about the union on this channel and um, just events that are going on on campus as well. Mm -hmm. um, another cool channel is uh, UATV. Yeah, and that's done by students, right? Like, that's yes. the student news channel. So it's done by a journalism department. Mm -hmm. so. We've got a broadcast right now from students, right? Um, no, that was the CW. That was the CW, yeah. <laughs> um, however, uh, this is a program that is provided by our journalism department, and they will show cool shows that have been produced by students. Yeah, like some documentaries, local documentaries and stuff like that, too. Yeah, uh, I actually used to be a journalism major here at the UBA, so um, I've had a, a little inside look to see how this was done. It's a pretty cool process. Tell me about HBO. HBO. So, yes, this is another cool thing. We used to only provide one HBO channel, and now we provide three. Um, so we, have, we provide you all with regular HBO, and then HBO 2, and HBO Family. 
Um, those are on channels 340, 341, and 342. So we'll just tune in. Nicholas Cage was on earlier. Let's see if he's still on. Yeah. Old Nick Cage. Yeah, so National Treasures. Play National right Treasures, now, okay. Just in there. Okay. But um, it's a great thing to have. Um, HBO, if, you, if you're ever bored watching a movie, <clears throat> HBO always has something good on. and um, It's just a good pastime. Would you show us the program guide? Sure. So another big thing with these cable boxes is that you actually get a guide. Oops. Can you turn it down just a little bit? Yes. Oh, Let me mute it for you. Um, so with this guide, you can go look. These are all the channels that are available to you. Uh, you get a lot of channels this year. We used to provide only 70, now we provide all of these. Um, a big thing is, um, so there's, there's yeah, UATV, and then we get all these channels as well. Um, but you can start at the bottom, so I think you can type in any channel, and then you can just start from the bottom and then go from there. So it's really good for channel surfing, and um, there's all of your local broadcast channels, and then as you go farther down, you get like your cable TV channels, and the, the guide's just really something cool yeah. to have. You got music channels and all. Yeah. We should, you know, we'll just sit here and watch, and they can watch us watch TV. Wouldn't that be, you know, yeah. we won't be like pant drying. Um, so uh, you're using the remote control, and you're kind of pointing it backwards. That makes me think that it's an infrared. Right, so it is an infrared. Uh, it is an infrared remote. However, a lot of the times the boxes will be hidden behind an armoire or a Yeah, nest. that's the case here, in fact. We had to move yes. this out to However, get to access to that. You have what's called an infrared blaster. This is right here. Uh, it's connected to your cable box, mm -hmm. and it has a little sticky. Uh, it has a little sticky pad on the back of the TV, on the back of the uh, infrared blaster. Mm -hmm. You can unwind it and pull this out and put it on your TV. Stick it to your TV, and you can just point your remote right as your TV, like you're talking to your cable box. Okay. And um, that way, you don't have to worry about having to to move the dresser every time you want to control your TV. So just stick that on your television or in a place where you know you're going to point to. Right. Yeah. But it, you have to have line of sight to that. Yes, always right. have line of sight to it, but it never really should be an issue because the cord's generally long enough. Okay. Fantastic. And if it's not long enough, we have, an, we have the ability to make it longer. 